How y'all doing? I was very troubled about the New York subway shooting, and um, and I was hoping it wasn't going to be a brother. You know, I was thinking, please don't let it be anybody black. I always think like that. That's just how it is, because I don't like to see black folks in no kind of trouble, no situations. And, you know, the cat was speaking um, about different things. It got me thinking about Ferguson, the brother from 30 years ago, shout out. <clears throat> his was racially based on how he was being, um, how he felt. So it was kind of almost like deja vu with this, but this is um, catastrophic, you know, the whole, it was pretty heavy, <clears throat> and you just hope that lives aren't lost. Um, you know, because I need to, you know, hear what the cat was talking about, but it wasn't because he was necessarily having black rage. He was just, you know, it's just a mental situation. It wasn't black rage, you know. It'd be one thing if he felt something because of being a black man and rage, but this was something completely, you know, mentally breakdown. And it's very unfortunate <clears throat> in this day and time, especially during the middle of a pandemic and people trying to prioritize their lives and do things and get the stuff straight. And uh, this kind of outbreak, um, you know, and this cat's 62 years old, and your retirement age, and you just, but you just, you know, you just don't know how things are. And mental illness, and there's so many factors involved <clears throat> that are involved here. Um, I'm just hoping, pray, you know. Um, it's a lot of destruction here, and it's a really sad time, to say the least. So that's all I can really say about it, you know. It's just, it's really sad and frightening, and you hope that people will be all right and you hope that this cat gets some help. But it's really, uh, you know, it's like, hey, that was tough to watch and tough to take. All right, please hit the like, subscribe, welcome thoughts or comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind closed. Watch out for another. And uh, it's just a reminder of how precious things are and you just don't know when someone's going to, their fuse is going to get lit. I'm out.